Hey everybody, this is Pastor Sarah. Welcome to Monday's Minute. This is our last week studying DIY forgiveness. Forgiveness is up to you. Today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite Bible stories ever and how it's all about how we all need forgiveness. Our first week of DIY forgiveness, we learned that we should forgive others because God has forgiven us. Why do we need God's forgiveness? What exactly has God forgiven us of? Is it really that important? Before we get started though, I want to tell you a story. Have any of you ever gotten lost before? One time I got me and all of my friends pretty lost and it was pretty bad. And I'm gonna tell you that story. See, I used to live in a town called Cobden. Cobden had 1,000 people total. That's how many people come to Whippy Christian on a Sunday morning. So needless to say, Cobden was pretty small. The only thing that surrounded Cobden was farms and the forest. And I felt like I knew the forest pretty well. See, I grew up living beside a lake and I used to go for hikes with my family around the entire edge of the lake. It had a really, really steep bank so you could climb up on the edge, look out over the beautiful water from the beautiful path on a beautiful day. It was all just very beautiful. I decided that one day I would take my friends on the same hike that I had been on with my dad before. See, my dad had shown me how to do this. We'd gone on this walk a couple times and I felt like I knew it pretty well. But this time when I took all of my friends, I ended up taking a wrong turn. Instead of walking on this beautiful, well-kept path along the edge of the water, overlooking nature at its finest, we ended up in a ravine with no path, but many, many thorn bushes. We were actually climbing up a hill and I'm not exaggerating, about this steep for a while. We were an hour and a half longer than the walk was supposed to be because of the wrong turn I'd taken. No one was wearing proper hiking shoes or pants or anything, just flip-flops and shorts because it was the summertime. And nobody really ever wanted to let me choose where we were going or let me navigate ever again. I don't really blame them. See, I got pretty lost. I have a terrible sense of direction when it comes to where I'm physically going. I always need my GPS on my phone or I let somebody else navigate. Today we're talking about being spiritually lost. Being spiritually lost is different than being physically lost. It's not like I misplaced my soul or something like, oh, where's Sarah's soul? Is it over there? Is it over there? No, it's really talking about losing a relationship, losing trust with someone, even losing ourselves a little bit and feeling like we don't really know who we are anymore. Today's Bible story is from Luke 15, and it's actually a parable or a special illustration or story that Jesus made up as an example to help teach his disciples. Sometimes they didn't always get it the first time that Jesus explained something. And when it was a very, very important lesson, he wanted to make sure that they really understood it. This is a story that Jesus used to really show them why we all need forgiveness. Luke 15 verses 11 to 24 is where our Bible story is found today, and you can follow along with me if you'd like to. To illustrate the point further, Jesus told them this story. A man had two sons. The younger son told his father, I want my share of your estate now before you die. So his father agreed to divide his wealth between his sons. A few days later, this younger son packed up all of his belongings and moved to a distant land, and there he wasted all of his money in wild living. About this time his money ran out, a great famine swept over the land, and he began to starve. He persuaded a local farmer to hire him, and the man sent him into the fields to feed the pigs. The young man became so hungry that even the pods he was feeding the pigs looked good to him, but no one gave him anything. So the first thing that we need to know about the younger son is that he made bad decisions. First, he asked his father for his inheritance before his father had even passed away. That was basically telling his dad, I wish you weren't here anymore. All I really care about is your money. And then he did something that was even worse. He left his whole family behind, didn't really talk to them anymore, and started a whole new life without them. It was like he forgot they even existed. After he spent his all of his money on crazy, silly things that were bad for him, he ran out and he actually began to starve. See, this young son made choices that he was responsible for. He sinned, that's what sin is, hurting God, hurting others, or hurting yourself. 
The second thing that we need to know is that the son knew what he did was wrong. That brings us to the next part of our story. When the young son finally came to his senses, he said to himself, at home, even the hired servants have food enough to spare, and here I am dying of hunger. I will go home to my father and say, Father, I have sinned against both heaven and you. I am no longer worthy of being called your son. Please take me on as a hired servant. The second thing that the young son knew was that he didn't deserve forgiveness. See, the choices that he'd made had hurt other people. He'd lost his relationship with his father. We can lose things when we hurt other people. We can lose their trust. We can lose responsibilities and privileges. Sometimes we can even feel like we've lost ourselves and we don't know who we are anymore. That's what happened to the young son in this story. He said because of the things he'd done, he didn't feel like he deserved to be his father's son anymore. And he would just go back to his father and ask to be his servant. This brings us to the end of our story, starting in Luke 15 verse 20. So he returned home to his father. While he was still a long way off, his father saw him coming. Filled with love and compassion, he ran to his son, embraced him, and kissed him. His son said to his, to his, 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 son said to him, Father, I have sinned against both heaven and you, and I am no longer worthy of being called your son. But his father said to his servant, Quick, bring the finest robe in the house and put it on him. Get a ring for his finger and sandals for his feet. Kill the calf we have been fattening. We must celebrate with a feast, for the son of mine was dead and has now returned to life. He was lost, but now he is found. So the party began. <laughs>